Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. I want to paint some images in your mind. Imagine, if you will, a group of senators furiously stabbing their leader to death. Or maybe imagine you on the cold stone benches of an amphitheatre, surrounded by fellow smelly plebeians as they roar in excitement at the sight of slaves forced to fight other slaves and even wild animals. Or maybe imagine sitting down to a meal of stuffed dormice and pig womb, all drenched in garum, a sauce concocted from fish blood and intestines. Now, let me ask you, What word comes to mind when I describe those scenes? How would you describe them? I imagine a word that probably didn't come to mind was romantic. Yet in a way, these activities could all be considered incredibly romantic. As this adjective of romantic and its noun form of romance fundamentally mean things that relate to the Romans. And these are all activities that Romans from all classes of Rome society were rather fond of partaking in. Of course, romance means something else entirely to us these days. When we hear romance, we think of people madly in love with one another, ballads of courtship, star-crossed lovers, works of intense, loving fiction, and heart-shaped everythings. How exactly did our word for all things lovey-dovey come from the name of one of the most dominant empires in all of human history? Why is romance named after the Romans? I guess it makes sense if we go back to the very beginning of all this and figure out how the Romans got their name in the first place. The Roman people and the Roman Empire were obviously named after the city in which their society was founded in. Rome. So we then need to ask how exactly did Rome get its name? On that front, we aren't exactly too sure. Rome is a word of fundamentally unknown origins. There's of course the famous myth about the naming of Rome we've delved into in the past, with the twins of Romulus and Remus being saved by the she-wolf, and Romulus going on to kill his brother and found the city named after himself. While that's the popular story, it may just be that, a story. Etymologists have tried to piece together a more realistic answer, however. Some think it may come from ancient words meaning things like flow in reference to its river, and some think it might come from an old word for hill, as Rome is very much known for its hills. These definitely aren't as fun as the myth, but probably a tad more realistic than a god getting a woman pregnant and those children being raised by a wolf or a woodpecker. Nevertheless, while the Romans and their language of Latin created a huge amount of words which have shaped the language to this day, it seems that Romance and Romantic were actually not words of Roman slash Latin origin. They seem to be words that came about once the Roman Empire had actually fallen in the 5th century. Prior to the fall of the empire, the land area that now makes up modern day France, as well as parts of Belgium, Germany and Italy, were the Roman province of Gaul. The natives of Gaul, also called Gauls, spoke a language of Latin origin, which we now call Gallo-Roman, though they would not have called it Gallo-Roman themselves. Instead, they called their language Romanus, as it was a language that came from Rome and the Romans. This was all well and good when the land was ruled by Rome, but as the Roman Empire came to a close and the Middle Ages dawned over Europe, Gaul was seized by the Franks and various other Germanic tribes. While Gaul and Rome may be gone now, the language of Romanus and Latin most certainly lived on. And this is where things get a little bit tricky to follow. In the fallout of Roman Gaul, a new Latin word starts to be used by the Franks and tribes now living in the land, which once belonged to the Gauls. This word is Romanus, which comes from the Gaulish word for their language, Romanus. This Latin word of Romanus is actually an adverb. It means in the vernacular of the Gauls, with a vernacular being a specific way in which a group of common people speak in a region. I guess with the Gauls now gone, their legacy in history needed a word to describe them, and this word of Romanus certainly fit the bill. As the years rolled on, all these languages in the land from the tongues of the Gauls, Latin and the Germanic languages formed a brand new language, and despite this being a new language at the time, we now call it Old French. This is the language that would eventually become the French French language we all know today. Of course, the language of Old French wasn't called Old French in Old French. Instead, it was called Romand slash Romans. I will be using the Z spelling throughout this video. It was called this as it derived partially from the Gaulish tongue of Romanus, which was formed from the tongue of the Romans. Like I said, it's all a little bit hard to follow at points. So at this point, Romans is no longer an adverb, but a fully fledged noun. 
It's not only the name for their language, as a romance became the name for literary works written in the language too. All writings written in romance became called romances. I'm presuming that's how it's pluralized. So that leads us to our next question. What were these romance speakers writing about exactly? Well, this is where the word modern meaning starts to fall into place. You must remember that it was during the Middle Ages that the concept of chivalry was established, and everyone fell head over heels in love with tales of brave knights going on adventures, damsels in distress who needed to be saved from evil, and more often than not, these brave knights and damsels would finally unite and fall in love. Things were really starting to spice up in the love lives of medieval Europeans. People loved these stories so much that many of these tales had to be written down, and of course the language they were most prominently written in was Old French aka romance, and as stories written in romance were also called romance, it means these tales of lovey-dovey knights were called romance too, and while they were born in Old French, it wouldn't be too long until the rest of the world caught wind of these tales. People all around the world fell in love, pun intended, with these stories which were being called romance. People couldn't get enough of brave knights and princesses swooning over them. They eventually started being written in other languages too, and here in England, that old French word of romance became romance, which in turn gave us the adjective of romantic too. It seems that this craze came to a head in the late 18th century to mid 19th century, as this period of time is now retroactively known as the Romantic Era slash Romanticism. It's creative works from this era that really shaped our modern concept of romance. Think of the works of Jane Austen, the Bronte sisters and Lord Byron, all at classic examples of romance that have shaped our modern concept of what it means to be romantic. It wasn't only writers, however, that got bit by the love bug, as we have romantic era composers too like Beethoven, and even painters like J.M.W. Turner. It seems this heightening of romantic ideas was brought about as a retort to the more gritty scenery that the Industrial Revolution brought with it. And from here, romance evolved into what it is today. It was quite the journey the word took to get to this point though, from the Romans to to the ghoulish Romanus, to the Latin adverb of Romanesi, to the old French name of Romance, to that name being applied to the language's written works, to the wider world falling in love with these writings and adapting the name into Romance. Through a long chain of events, Romance really is named after the Romans, though primarily through the French and France. This really does kind of make sense. France is still a country heavily linked with Romance and love. Millions of couples visit the nation's capital of Paris as it has been a signed as the city of love, and in fiction, many romantic lovey-dovey characters are often portrayed as French. This can often delve into the world of stereotypes however, like with Pepe Le Pew in Looney Tunes, the love-struck skunk. The word romance however is also used in another way, which isn't related to cherubs and chocolate. If you are a fan of language like myself, then I have no doubts you have heard of the Romance languages. Romance languages are a branch of Proto-Indo-European, which include most noticeably the languages of Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese and Romanian. While these are the big ones, there are way more Romance languages like Venetian, Sicilian, Walloon, Cajun French and Picard. What connects all these languages is that they all have roots in Latin, the language of the Romans, which explains why words in these languages can be similar at times, and how some of the words in these languages even look similar to those spoken in ancient times by the Romans. It's because all these languages are descendants of the language of the Romans, as why they are called romance languages, it's actually a much more fitting, logical and literal use of the word romance, as it's being used in its original meaning, relating to Rome. And these romance languages have spread far and wide. In the same way the Roman Empire spread across Europe, romance speaking empires have spread across the entire world. South America is a whole continent that primarily speak either Spanish or Portuguese. In Canada, there's a French speaking population and French even made its way into Africa and Asia too. There are about 44 different Romance languages and it's believed that there are about 1.2 billion people on planet Earth who speak a Romance language. That's not even including the languages that while aren't technically Romance were shaped and influenced by Latin. 
Take English. Sure, it's technically a Germanic language, but thanks to the land's Roman rule years ago, Latin played a fundamental role in shaping what the language is like today. I cannot imagine how many speakers of languages there are that are somewhat shaped by Latin. Rome's influence spread far and wide and is still seen in language to this day. It's this use of the word romance that is perhaps more important than the love kind. Still, with the massive influence that Latin and the Romans have had in shaping our modern world, there's most likely a little bit of romance in an awful lot of us, no matter how unromantic some people may seem. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter, I'm at NameExplainYT. On Instagram, I'm also NameExplainYT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you all so much.